、揽投资、国内专业的互联网理财平台，收益超银行活期数倍，已为众多用户带来丰厚收益。揽投资理财新选择，源于民族之心，兴于品质之巅。健康之路，有爱，有缘，有三元。北京时间由三元乳业联合冠名播出。Good morning. Very nice to meet you. Oh my, this is great. Of the design, the engineering汽车与财新传媒共同举办的二零一五福特汽车创新大会上，西装笔挺、面容俊朗的福特汽车公司总裁兼首席执行官、五十四岁的马克·菲尔兹亲临现场，宣布了福特未来五年在中国市场的产品和技术创新计划。马克·菲尔兹一九六一年出生于美国纽约市布鲁克林区的一个中产阶级家庭，父母都具有犹太血统。一九七九年，他进入罗格斯大学学习经济学，之后在哈佛大学攻读工商管理硕士，并取得 MBA 学位。一九八九年，他进入福特汽车任职。一九九九年，被调派到福特汽车控股的日本马自达汽车公司担任社长。二零零二年转战欧洲，成为福特汽车旗下首席汽车集团总裁。二零零五年十月，被调回福特本部，主管北美业务。二零一二年十二月，由于业绩表现出色，菲尔兹擢升成为福特汽车公司的首席运营官，负责福特所有业务的运营项目。二零一四年七月，他就任福特新一任的全球总裁兼首席执行官。与他的前任艾伦·穆拉利一样，马克·菲尔兹对中国市场也极为重视。上任仅八个月后，便首度访华。先是出席在北京举行的中国高层发展论坛，随后赶赴杭州参加福特在华第四座乘用车工厂的投产仪式。一个月后，又现身上海车展，为林肯中国全新品牌战略启动站台。在出席此次创新大会期间，菲尔兹接受了财经时间的专访，再次强调了中国市场对于福特的重要性。Many times have you been to China since you succeed for CEO? Oh, I've probably been here to China at least seven or eight times、uh, in the last、uh, year and a half or so. Yeah, and it's quite often, right? It's it's often because it's a it's it's a really important market for us.、Uh, we've been building plants, expanding our product lineup, so we've had a chance to come out and and help support that, as well as、uh, spend time talking with the government officials in terms of what our plans as a company are. And、uh, it's great. I love coming to China. So, how important? Could you give us more details? China is very important to Ford. To put it into perspective, last year in 2014, we sold around the world、uh, about six and a half million vehicles, and here in China, we sold almost、uh, 1.1 million vehicles. So, just from a sales standpoint, it's becoming more and more important. And then, when you look at global growth over the next Five years or so,、uh, a lot of the, the growth is going to be here in China. So,、uh, from that standpoint, this market is extremely important for us. I know Ford announced the、um, uh, Ford China 1515 plan、mm -hmm. um, four years ago, and this year is going to achieve its target.、Uh, what's the situation now? You can make a conclusion. Well, we've had a very successful plan that we announced five years ago. And we said we wanted to build more、uh, plant facilities here. We wanted to introduce more products into the marketplace and cover more segments. And we couldn't be more pleased with the reception 
that the Chinese, Chinese consumer have given our products and our brand. So we fulfilled all of our commitments and, and, and exceeded a number of them. And where we're at now in our point in time is uh, we're really taking the next step, and it's really about the next chapter in Ford going forward, and focusing on innovation, uh, innovation in mobility in general, and innovation in China for China, because our China operations, and not only our manufacturing operations, but our product development capabilities is serving not only China, but the, uh, the global Ford world. So, it's been a very successful five-year period for us, and we're going to work very hard to continue to be successful in the eyes of consumers uh, in the next five years. Mm. Can you say the most factor of this plan to be succeeded in China? Well, I think first off is really understanding the market and mm -hmm. understanding the Ch Chinese consumers, what kind of products that they want. And I think that basic fundamental understanding allowed us to introduce a full lineup of uh, vehicles, including a full lineup of SUVs, mm -hmm. uh, because Chinese consumers more and more are uh, attracted to small, medium, and large size SUVs. But even our passenger cars, they want vehicles with great fuel economy, with really good technology, state-of-the-art technology, and with great design. And that's allowed us for vehicles like our Focus. Uh, three years in a row, it's the top selling nameplate mm -hmm. here in China and they want great quality. And yeah. our team is very focused on making sure that the products that we deliver to our customers mm -hmm. have that quality that consumers can rely on. And then finally, it really involves making sure you have a very enthusiastic team uh, and a team that's committed to winning and con committed to satisfying customers, and we have that. Do you think there is there any specific character of Chinese consumer different from other parts of this world? Well, I think there's a lot of similarities to Chinese yeah. consumers around the world. They want uh, great quality in their vehicles. They want good fuel economy. Uh, they want safety. And yeah. they want smart technology. But when you come here in China, I think also Chinese consumers are more and more sophisticated. And the level of research that they do, particularly online, is quite impressive. So we have tailored our marketing efforts to make sure that we get the product information out that it is online and available. And also the Chinese consumer is becoming more and more demanding in terms of the okay. product, the yeah. quality, uh, the durability, the technology. Well, since you understand this market so well and the 1515 plan has achieved its target, so what's your next step in China? Well, our next step very clearly is to really accelerate our uh, efforts on innovation and accelerate our efforts on providing mobility for Chinese consumers. And what I mean by that is we're thinking of ourselves more and more as a mobility company. Not only just a great car, utility, and truck company, but also being able to allow consumers to live, play, and work where they want to. So as we go forward, you're going to see us as a company continue to invest in our core products continue to deliver the safety, the quality, the fuel efficiency, and the smart technology, but also at the same time driving innovation that is accessible to everyone. More and more things like semi-autonomous uh, features, driving features in the vehicle, even better connectivity, uh, introducing NEV vehicles into the marketplace. 为了应对时下呼声越来越高的绿色出行及燃油经济性的要求，推出一系列新能源车型也成为福特在中国市场的发展战略之一。在创新大会上，福特公司宣布，从2016年开始，将在中国率先引进两款新能源车型。集合福特在全球新能源车型开发的经验，将有助于降低消费者的燃油成本，有效地减少尾气排放，减轻城市内的空气污染。贝尔兹也重点谈及了福特的这项新能源车型推广计划。That's great.、Um, let's speak of the NUV cars. So, what's your new style here? Have you announced yet? Our approach to、uh, be able to continue to provide、uh, great fuel economy and and do our part for economic development here in the in the country is not only continuing to introduce、uh, and and improve our EcoBoost engines, which are Uh, direct injection gasoline engines and allowing them to continue to become even more fuel efficient while providing great power and fun to drive aspects for consumers. 
but we're also, by 2020, we'll have a, a lineup of uh, uh, very advanced NEV vehicles, and it starts next year. We're going to be launching our C-MAX plug-in hybrid next year, as well as our Mondeo uh, hybrid here in the marketplace next year. Have you ever uh, compared your new car with the existing successful uh, NUV such as Tesla and the BYD in China? We benchmark everybody because our approach is, as a company, mm -hmm. we can learn something from everybody. And it's, it's, it's important for us, uh, part of our culture is to always to continuously improve and not be so arrogant to think that we just have all the answers. Uh, I'm willing to learn from any of our competitors and their products. And as we look at some of our competitors, BYD, Tesla, uh, and others, there's always something to learn. Mm -hmm. Now, the key is when you, you take those learnings, you want to come out with a product that's actually superior to the competition, mm -hmm. uh, whether it's in design or in technology or fuel economy or safety. And that's our approach going forward uh, with our products. Speaking of the social responsibility of auto manufacturing companies, well, we know, here we now in China, if you have been to Beijing, you must know the air pollution, mm -hmm. how severe they are. So the car emission is part of the pollution. So maybe that's the wonderful reason of NUV cars? Uh, absolutely. It's, it's, it's a couple of reasons. One is um, when you look at societal trends, air quality is so important. And not only here in China, but around the world. And it's not... It's not just important because it's important to the environment. It's important to basic human health. And for that reason, we want to make sure that our vehicles are as easy on the planet as possible in terms of how they operate. But also, as a company, we're also stepping back. And, you know, as a company, we have a culture. And, and, and the, the, the reason for our company, if you had to point it to one thing, is we make people's lives better. Yes. It goes all the way back to our founder, Henry Ford, who his vision was to put the world on wheels and allow people to travel beyond the place where they, they were born. And that drives us to this day in making people's lives better. And that's why we're thinking of ourselves as a mobility company to produce great cars and utilities and trucks, but also at the same time do right for the environment, do right for our consumers. And that's why introducing NEVs as well as very fuel efficient uh, gasoline powered engines is so important to us. But do you, do you think the traditional brand of gasoline consuming cars still have the future? Still have the opportunities in the future? A absolutely. As, as you go forward, uh, you know, gasoline uh, engines uh, will continue to play a large portion of what co consumers will buy over the years ahead. ahead. But also, at the same time, NEVs, as a percentage of the total industry, will continue to grow. Foodtech也致力于车载互联相关技术上的创新，智能移动计划应运而生。这项福特于今年一月宣布的计划，旨在利用创新科技将车载连接技术、移动出行、自动驾驶技术、消费者体验以及大数据整合提升至更高的水平
can we offer to our consumers in the market that literally helps change the world move again, just like Henry Ford did 100 years ago. Uh, so that's how we're thinking about it, and uh, we're off to a very good start with our Ford Smart Mobility uh, uh, strategy. So with this plan, the Ford looks like both uh, manufacturing company and an internet company, and which one Ford leans towards more? Well, if you think about it, going, uh, our, we're not only a, a world-class manufacturing company, but we're also, I think, a world-class technology company. And going forward, you could argue that as the vehicles become part of the Internet and consumers allow us to, sh to, to, to share the data, we'll also be somewhat of an information company as well. Oh, yeah. And I think those three things are really driving us as an organization to look at you know, some of the new competitors we have in the auto industry that we never thought we'd have whether it's technology companies or, or, other, or other companies. And we look at it as a huge opportunity as a company. Yeah. And you said um, lab in the Silicon Valley, right? Yeah, part of this is making sure that as we look at those new opportunities, we have to ask ourselves the question, do we need new talent in the oh. company to be able to take advantage of those new technologies mm -hmm. to complement the talent that we already have in the company? So part of the strategy was opening up a, a, a lab in Silicon Valley mm -hmm. where by the end of this year we'll have uh, over 125 professionals, uh, engineers and technologists that are working on connected cars and autonomous vehicles and big data and analytics. And it's a way for us to tap into that talent pool and the way we work today, today because all of our research centers are connected uh, it's a perfect opportunity to go where the talent is. Oh, yes. And you also have a research center here in Nanjing? Oh, yes. And what's the improvement of the center for you? Well, our center here in Nanjing is part of our eight uh, product development centers that we have around the world. Oh, yeah. And we're also announcing that we're going to be investing 1.8 billion U.S. dollars over the next five years to continue to improve our product development capabilities and our research capabilities here in China. And part of that will be expanding our facility in Nanjing, uh, building a new building, adding more people to the 2,000 people we already have there. Oh, building huge. A, a, it's, it's a very big operation. It's um, building a new test track so that we can test vehicles here in China. And the point there is we want to make sure that we have innovation in China for China. And it's not just about uh, being a manufacturer uh, here in China and other parts of the world. It's around also developing our product development capabilities here in China, which will benefit products specifically for China, but also benefit us globally in terms of the number of the technologies that the team in Nanjing is working on. Oh, that's great. Yeah. It's a, very it's a very enthusiastic team. I was there about a year ago, oh. and uh, they are so enthusiastic and so uh, motivated to learn uh, that That's it was great. really great to, to, uh, uh, to, it's really great for us to share this information with them today. And I remember we did a, a big town hall when I was there with all the employees and the enthusiasm, the passion, and the great questions that they asked. I left more energized than when I got there. Oh, really? Yeah. It's so great to know that. Yeah. And it's also the part of this Ford culture, do you think so? Part of our culture as, as a company, we, we have a term uh, saying we're part of the Ford family. Mm -hmm. And you know, part of it is because the family is still involved in our business, so we're not some nameless or faceless corporation. But as a family, what do families do? Well, they watch out for each other. Uh, they listen to each other. They respect differences of opinions. And they, there's a connectedness across the generations in a family. So for us as a company, uh, our company culture, I think, is, is quite unique. And it's also around always trying to do the right thing. Um, we're a company that has uh, been recognized by being uh, very ethical. We've, we've won uh, a, 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 an award for the past six years as being one of the world's most eth ethical companies. And it's important that all of our employees around the world understand our culture and who we are. Trying to do the right thing. Well, I think 
in this changing world, especially the technology has been innovative and mm -hmm. every minute. So there are a lot of chance to make uh, wrong decisions, but it's necessary and it's not a void. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, you know, I anytime, it, it, it's really about uh, learning because as we go forward, part of our culture is having this innovation mindset, which means it's it, an innovation mindset is really, it's a culture and a habit around innovation. And it's around challenging custom and questioning tradition, not taking anything for granted, using technology where we can, mm -hmm. always focusing on how the consumer is experiencing that, um, acting fast and taking appropriate risks. And as we do that, there will be successes and it's important that we celebrate those successes with our, with our team. And there is a new slogan, Ford, innovation for millions. Mm -hmm. What's the key about this slogan? Well, I think the key is, is, again, it comes back to who we are as a brand. And our brand has always been about accessibility and ingenuity and also having a human factor to it. But that accessibility is really important because we want to make sure that innovations are not just available for people that buy luxury cars. We want to make sure that it is available for majority of consumers so that we can make their lives easier and do it in a way that's affordable when we bring these innovations going forward. 谈到目前汽车行业内的竞争,第二次表示,福特重视每一位竞争对手,也经常向他们学习,想要从竞争中脱颖而出,重点就在于如何更好地满足消费者日益增长的需求。during this innovation time, do you think the competition even more severe than before? Well, I think the, the competition in the auto industry is some yeah. of the most intense uh, that we've seen because not only do we have our traditional competitors, our other OEM competitors, yeah. <laughs> whether it's Tesla yeah. or Google or who knows what Apple is yeah. doing. So we have uh, a number of traditional competitors who, uh, of course, are moving very fast as well as we are. And then you have these new competitors that are looking at the automotive industry and saying, hmm, uh, maybe I can play in that. And for us as a, as, as a company, it just motivates us even more to move faster and quicker because we have all this new competition. And I think, first off, all that competition is going to be good for consumers at the of end course. of the day. And we want to satisfy the consumers better than anybody else in light of that competition. Yeah, and any strategy to your traditional competitors such as German and Japanese cars and the new ones? Well, I think, you know, we take every one of our competitors very seriously and uh, we, can, we can always learn from what they're doing. But I do think with all these, uh, this level of competition that's in the marketplace combined with these new technological enablers makes it a very exciting time for Ford in the auto industry. Do you think in this new era we should have more cooperation with other companies? Well, as we go forward, scale is very important in this industry because with new technology and new fuel economy requirements and those type of things, more those are, those are expensive technologies that have to go into vehicles. And the key is making sure that the vehicle at the end of the day is affordable to the consumer. So we are always looking at doing you know, projects with other OEMs. We do that today. Well, I'm not only talking about OEMs. I think uh, there are different industries you can cooperate with, such Absolutely. as with the um, Internet company. For example, Apple. Well, when you look at uh, the technology, our approach as a company is to really figure out what are the things that we want to be really good at that should be uh, in our, what we call our core of our business and then other things that maybe others will do better, where do we partner with them? And that could mean a number of different technology companies and uh, we're always engaged in making sure that how can we partner uh, and be good partners to, to others maybe in some different industries to provide a great product and experience and service to our customer.